What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's going on? A Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 12. It's called Guardians, Mike. Yes. Uh, this this was this was a I I thought this was a good episode. Um, it was written though by one of yes, our new was. friends, Latoya Morgan, who was a writer and uh, co-executive producer on The Badlands. Into the Badlands. That's right. Uh, she she said, "Hey guys, my episode's coming up." We were like, "Oh sweet!" So uh, shout out to Latoya. Uh, you know she's been on our show before. Uh, go check out the video. She did trivia and she also did a community Q and A with her about Into the Badlands. So go yep. check that out. Um, yeah, and so she wrote this episode, and uh, I was like, I had messaged her, and I'm like, you got to write for Beta. That's awesome. She's like, yep. yeah. Yeah, yep. no, it was, it was a lot of dialogue, a lot of great dialogue, especially from Beta, like you said. Even just from the Whisperers in general. I mean, uh, you know, Alpha's creepy as hell. We've been saying that and using the, the adjective creepy like a million times when it comes to the Whisperers. So that's obviously, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was written beautifully. I mean, I think we both, like you said, we both kind of messaged her and, and congratulated her and thought it was, it, was a, it was a great one. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, so let's jump in. But, um, I think, why don't we, before we get to the Whisperers stuff, save yeah. that for, the, for towards the end. Let's, let's go to Alexandria. Let's talk about that mm-hmm. stuff. So there's a council meeting. We yeah. found out, we find out a lot of, stuff about the council meaning michonne is the one that makes all these decisions and it's yeah. not really a council now because she just does whatever she wants and she, you know the whole the, so the, the the topic of debate is whether or not to help give help to the kingdom yeah right and the fair and the fair as well and joining joining in with the oh because alexandria is not the in the fair right now right yeah yeah no i mean I pose. I wanted to pose this question to you, and we can hopefully get some comments about this. Mm-hmm. You know, who do you agree with? Do you agree with Michonne's point of view, where you know, as long as Alexandria is safe, that's all that matters. We're we're thriving, we're flourishing. Um, there's no time for games, and there's no time for really this this community bond like they had in the past. Or do you deal with? Or are you kind of siding with Gabriel, um, and? You know some of those other council members that are suspect to me because I didn't even know who the hell they were. I know some I random, needed... some randos in yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, so um, what, are you, what are you thinking? I mean, I I kind of agree with both. To be honest, I yeah. kind of agree with both. It's like you know, you know, like you said, they the kingdom does need help. They were a family. They, mm-hmm. you know, how could you turn your back on your family? But at the same time, right now, you know. Uh, and another good point is, you know, is it is now the right time to do this trade thing? Although the only problem is, is that they've been building this whole trade fair for a very long time. And it's and it's come to a point where it's a necessity for some of the communities. The yeah. kingdom really needs the help. They have to trade. They have to get food. You know, and Alexandria is kind of like stopping that from happening if they're not going to go. And then if they're not going to let it happen. So I don't know, man, I, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I. I, I think honestly I think they should just do it. Like they should yeah. do it. Let it yeah. let it happen. Just be on guard. You know, this isn't an easy world. You always right. have to be on guard. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, listen, it's to me from the threat of the whispers and the Alexandrians and the hilltops knowing about them and the kingdom doesn't know about them, I can see that that point of view for from the kingdom side. Right. Gabriel's side I don't necessarily think that it's the perfect time for a fair or a festival when we have this threat out there. Now, with the rumors, there's multiple threats because there's some hints and some theory about the spray paint right. sign. Yeah. That there's this kind of highway gang that's kind of like marking you know, territory and stuff. Marking right. territory yeah. and say, oh, you need a toll in order to pass these roads, kind of a thing. So hopefully they're not, I, I don't, I, just hopefully they do that right. Mm-hmm. So. I, I, I'm like you, I can take both sides of, of the coin and I can understand from both perspective. And obviously by the end of the episode, Michonne talks with Negan, which was cool. And, uh, you know, Michonne talks with Judith, which was, which was also interesting. And it's kind of like Judith makes a good point and Michonne didn't really know what to do. Well, that's the thing. She, so she yeah. changes her, she changes her mind obviously at the end and yeah. says, you got, you guys are kind of right. You know, if you guys feel like this is what you want to do, you know, the risk you know that the roads to the you know don't forget like the bridge was destroyed and some of the roads are destroyed. Yeah, well, that was her one of her points is the roads yeah. that getting there are bad, like they're not yeah. easily traversable. So it's like yeah, 
So it's, you know, it's, um, it's cool because I don't like to see Michonne as like a dictator or, and she kind of had that vibe in the beginning, pretty much like it's my way or the highway. Uh, well, she but feels like she had to step in after Rick. That's the problem. Rick yeah. was like, because Rick was doing that. She basically learned from watching him. And I guess she just, she, at that time, she wasn't a leader. She was like the second, you know, she was, yeah. she was beta in that in that group and she just you know so the only way she knew how was probably watching rick be the dictator so to speak the dictator so yeah. you know either way you know she made the choice at the end um going back to judith i thought that was a very a very yeah. good conversation i loved i love that dialogue it was like you know she's judith doesn't stand down i love that i love huh. that there's this little girl who's imposing <laughs> And she just tells you what it's like, and she says nobody listens to me, you know. And she's like, "Go yeah. to your room." And she's like, she's like "Why? She's like, Why?" <laughs> I love I that. I love that. I know. Like, because I, I thought I said the same thing in my yeah. head right before she said, it. "I was like, why?" And she goes, "Why?" And I'm like, "Yeah, right. like, you yeah, know, like saw, perfect." Yeah. Put it. We, we we saw a little glimpse of RJ too for a split second. Yeah. yeah like yeah. you know, sleeping in there too. So it was kind of cool to maybe we'll see a little bit more from him. It's 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 funny because there's so many kids now. In Alexandria, there is. Yeah. You, know, you have Gracie. You have, that was uh, cool too, RJ. right? When she goes to see, yeah. she goes to see him, and, and Gracie opens the door. I completely forgot about Gracie. It's Michonne. Yeah, yeah I thought that was really, really cool. I just, so, I, it was some good stuff. So that was cool. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's it's a tough situation. That it's whole a tough thing. situation. But the only, this, the only. <laughs> well, go ahead, go ahead. Let's say the trade. The trade thing is like you, they need yeah. that. They need it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think Michonne, a part of her, she doesn't want to lose any more people. And well, they know course, there's yeah. a, you know, they knows that um, specifically that there's this 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 threat out there. And um, like I said, with the children, the last thing they need is another Negan thing happening where Alexandria is attacked and all this kind of stuff. But that's the good side of what happened in Alexandria and the good part of the of the episode. The worst part about people in Alexandria is the whole Rosita thing and Eugene. <laughs> I'm not. I, I yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I don't care about that. I. It's not that I don't care. I. I. I think. I. 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 I want to know why there's a love triangle now. I think it's gotten a little messy because because now you have. All right. So obviously in the comic it was just Eugene was taking care of Rosita who had a baby with another dude, and that was it. That's it. Here, she's with Gabriel. And then it's Sadiq's baby, but Eugene's in love with her. So yeah. I feel like it's kind of a lot. There's too many cooks in that kitchen, I think, you know? I I, I, I don't mind Gabriel and her. I, I do yeah. find it a l you know what? Maybe I do mind. I, I'm not I'm not I'm not completely sold on their relationship. <laughs> You're on the fence. You're on I'm, the I'm fence. not complete I would have had just preferred it if it was just her and Sadiq were like they weren't together. if we just took Gabriel out of the equation I think I would have liked that. The only thing is, my theory with Gabriel is that they're doing this, be, and the same thing they did, like when when they did with what's her name, um, uh, trash trash lady, uh, uh Jadis. Jadis, thank you. I couldn't think, yeah. think of her name. Uh, you know, like that was interesting. That was more interesting than than the stuff with Rosita. But I think yeah. if you take Gabriel out of the the equation, I think just having Sadiq on and off again, or uh, you know, I don't you know, you don't need to know. And he's like, well, I want to, whatever. And, but you have Eugene is, is pining after her that I can deal with. I don't mind that. I, again, what I was saying, I think Gabriel, I think they're setting him up to, to, to go bye-bye. Um, I won't give away of, any spoilers, yeah. but you know, I, there are good, there, there are going to be some, if, if we're going to go down this path, there are going to be some major deaths coming. Yeah. Um, but, a quick note about the deaths, man. I'm going to ask you this: yeah. Do you think, with the with the the death of Rick and Maggie being gone, do you think that killing off characters now, whether they're main or not, A or B characters, do you find it as unlikely or more likely for it to happen now because they've they've already set that precedent? Like, well, we've gotten rid of A A players. Yeah. So what do you what do you think? I mean, if it fits the story and it's done well, I I mean, listen, that was the biggest worry that we had when this season when Rick left in the first place, when yeah. Maggie left in the first place. I mean, not so much with Maggie because Rick is obviously that main guy, but I think they've they've done well with um not making making us miss them 
so much Rick and, and Maggie and these, and these people. So if they do it well, I don't re- I don't necessarily care. Um, I'm going to agree with you about the whole trio kind of Rosita thing, too. I would think it would have been a lot easier if it was just like, all right, I'm with Gabriel and the baby's yours. To throw Sadiq in there, they were messing around, they were fooling around before, you know, the Gabe stuff. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Are they are they setting it up for a death? Are they setting it up for just drama? Are they setting it up for a battle between who takes care of the child when the child, if the child's born? I'm the dad. No, I'm her husband or I'm her boyfriend or yeah I don't I don't know I don't think it's necessarily going to get that far but we'll see you, we'll see how closely you know, they they follow this comic story with what happens so you know there's one there's one sticking point I got and I got to mention it cuz mm. you know because we're you know if there's if anything we we try and be as honest as we can here yeah but I think the one sticking point for me is she says it happened before they, like, right as they were getting together. They were fooling around for a little while, she says, but, or something. Right, but but while she was falling in love with Gabriel, so either she was with both of them at once or it happened right before Gabriel. But guess what? When you get pregnant, it's not, like, three months later. I mean, yes, yes, it is three months later. But what I'm saying is, like, if she's just getting ill now, like, it's it's manifested now, manifested. But you know what I'm saying? Like, she yeah. got pregnant relatively, you know, not not that long ago, which means yeah. how long, how, when when did you and Gabriel get together? Like, I'm not too clear I on know, the timeline. The timeline, yeah, it is it's a little, little it's a to little me, it's funky. a little yeah. squished together. But again, yes, it, I think that whole thing, is yeah. just it needs to be like broken it's a little, apart. And yeah, it's a little, it's a little awkward. Let's 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 let's. Well, I wanted to move to Negan real yeah. quick because Negan yeah. that was interesting. We me got too. a little bit more of Negan, and he says basically you could use someone like me, and she's like, well, f you, um, that's not going to happen, and mm-hmm. you know, and he's like, well, I've changed, and she's like, the hell you have, and you know, he he, he what does he say about the council? He's like, he, what did he say again? Uh, pretty much about just how it's supposed to be like a democracy kind of a thing. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and he notices how she uh, is the one that really is making the decisions. The decisions yeah. She calls out, you know, the white, you know, sh- these windows, shut these windows. And she notices Judith listening. And he he mentions that he's close to the council forum or whatever the, cl- oh, council, the room where, that they, the room in, where yeah. they meet and all this kind of stuff. So, it, yeah, yeah, it's funny how he can still kind of twist, you know. Well, that's what he's uh, good at. That's yeah, what, that's he's his, definitely his he's forte. Definitely, I'm he's right in some some ways too, and how and what he says. You know, there is a part of me that believes that Negan can kind of redeem himself, and we'll see. Yeah, I you know I'm I'm curious to see how far they take the take the that character. I mean, we know what happens in the comics, so you know, again, that's what we yeah. have to go off of. I right. I I liked it in the comic, and I you know because it still kept you guessing. I, they're all. It's always going to keep you guessing. Is he going to turn? Is he going to turn? Is he going to turn? But yeah. Um. All right. Yes. Talked about let's, all that. Yes. Let's go back and let's go into the woods. Beta is awesome. Beta is awesome. He's bad badass dude. Little Beta is awesome. Little little Henry is chasing. Little, little medium sized Henry. But here's the thing <laughs> about Beta. We didn't we didn't get that much. Mm-hmm. But when we did, like you knew exactly. I, I, I'm curious if anybody mm-hmm. watching or listening to this was the character of Beta someone you knew prior to this, um, from, either from the comics or or whatever, or coming into this as just maybe just a viewer of the show, was he imposing? Did you feel that? Because I got that, but again, I have I have the backstory in my mind. Like I know where he comes from. I know what he ends up doing. I know yeah. all that stuff. You know, yeah. I just, you know, ice, but I think even though he was like, he was very, it was very low key. He was very, he was just there, which was great. And the lines he had were great. And yeah, I mean, we saw him like cutting them at the face. We got to see yeah, them making was, the mask and that was, yeah, that was kind of, kind of, uh, brutal to see that going on. I mean, it was done, it was done fantastically. But... Oh, oh, the masks yeah, no. are cool. Yeah. His, the, it, it's cool to see that. It's cool to see just the, the camp in general. You know, you had um, guys slaughtering animals. Uh, you know, they said they were hanging jerky, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And you just see people, uh, you know, a large group of, of these whispers. Now, is this it? You know, what what happens at the end? What what Daryl causes is, you know, how is there more out there? You know, how many wa- walkers, uh, whispers did the walkers take out that Daryl led in? You know, those are the questions that I really 
pose from there. And I know that um, I know you were saying, I believe in the last episode that there wasn't there wasn't so much um, intimidation with Alpha, and there wasn't you know you weren't as nervous or as scared as um, for our group uh, as maybe like Negan when we first were introduced right, with him. Yeah. But I think by Beta. And even not saying so much, he's just he's very empowering. He's imposing kind of a kind of a guy. So I think the the tandem between them two was, you know, Alpha and and, and Beta. Yeah, the pair of them. Something. The pair of them are. are yeah, they're a force. Yeah. They're a force to be reckoned with, and we see that with this group, with the with this couple that, you know, tries to. Um, they try to they try to challenge. You know yeah, the yeah. thing. So. <sighs> So you have to excuse my 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 eyes are like watering and stuff, so they're like very itchy and they're like bloodshot now. Um, the thing with that is, so a couple things. All right, look, we got a lot. We got a lot of whisper stuff in this. Yeah, we got to see them walking, how they walk through the woods. We got to see how they talk to each other. We got to see how they don't talk to each other. We got to see all this stuff. What we did was what we did get is that uh, we got to see Alpha mm-hmm. in her prime, meaning conniving smart observant she knew that they were conniving she watched them do it we kind of saw it a little bit as mm-hmm. she walked by them that that had to be that had to have been the couple that she walked by them and they were like oh you know like yeah yeah, yeah we were talking too much or whatever so she knew that she called it and she called it that it was the woman she knew that she knew from the dude the way the dude was presenting himself in, in their case she's like mm, no it's not you it's her and then you know con- you know proceeds to you know saw off her head and then kill the dude like very very cool stuff and then you have the, the this the scene where she confides in beta and i thought that's a that's a very interesting dynamic how he's just like it's almost like rick and uh daryl where daryl just does daryl is the stoic one he just yeah. doesn't say much while rick pours his heart out yeah. i mean so essentially we have that you know where she says that stuff and it just again could solidifying that she's a freaking psycho yeah you know? Yeah, no, yeah, no, definitely. And it was it was really both of them talking about how um, maybe they should dive a little bit deeper in what happened with Lydia and Henry and that maybe Lydia's not telling the uh, total truth. And that's kind of where it, le- it leads to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it, you know, Lydia is presented with a knife and is told to. All right. Sh- let's see how much uh, right, if you don't just, care yeah. or you do care about this about this guy. No, yeah, I mean, so. So there, there is one thing, uh, uh, another sticking point at the end there. You, you brought mm-hmm. up off camera. We yeah. were discussing it, and you, you brought up an idea of, well, okay, so, da- so, so Daryl's the one that's supposed to have led the walkers in, but you said, yeah. well, where are the, well, where aren't, isn't somebody? Let's well, call them like the shepherds, shepherding his... the walker, the herd. Yeah, right, yeah. So did Daryl take out the guy that's in charge of shepherding? these these whispers that right. are how would they where, wherever they are how are they so the easily mass- overtaken by yeah now, I don't know. it was a little i, I say mean, i say they were distracted like i'm gonna i'm gonna go out and be like look they were distracted because they were watching the henry and lydia you know thing um obviously beta and alpha are preoccupied but you're right where what goes on behind the scenes who's doing that and and yeah. how did because then, how did he get a mask, right? How did they get masks? Yeah, that's what Him I'm saying. Con. Like, um, so they probably took them off of the people who were shepherding them, you know. But then, yeah. which makes yeah. sense because then they were followed to the camp by the walkers, you know. Yeah, kind of. Me, I mean, it, you know, it has to be something, something like that. It could be. Uh, uh, there, I know that there were some rumblings around that. Uh, remember when they, after they killed, after Alpha kills the the couple, they drag them out into the woods. Oh yeah. So some people are saying that the walkers that jumped on them that were eating them, Daryl took out because remember Daryl and and Connie oh, were close yeah. by. Yeah. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. I just felt like for a group of people that call themselves the Whispers that know how to, that that mastered the technique, right, of herding and shepherding and uh, you know these walkers. I just thought it was a little. Listen, it was cool. I'm not gonna. You know, I, might I was be, like, good. I was like, right? good, you I, assholes, I, good. I don't want to deserve sound super, it. If I'm breaking it down, I'm, like literally, I'm like it's a little, whatever. But I thought it was really cool. Um, I told you I'm wondering how many walkers, uh, whispers were taken out because, mm-hmm. listen, this is a camp. This is a big camp. This is the middle of the night. It seemed like there was a lot of walkers piling in. So I mean, but that's the one thing they're good at, man. Is they're good yeah. at 
they're good at quickly assimilating into the herd. Well, we saw that a little bit. We saw yeah. everybody grabbing their masks. And stuff so like that. I it's, think it's, I, it's probably it's, minimal at this point. Yeah. It really was just a distraction to get to, to get the I kid guess. out of there. So yeah, it bored him enough time, and uh, yeah. and they were out, and they were out. So, so uh, what? We're, so this is okay. So what Mike and I have been doing in, in recent weeks is posing, uh, putting out there. You know, uh, if you guys have questions for us yeah. about, you know, I mean, not that we wrote the show or anything, but. If you want to discuss something specific with us about the episode, you know, the day after the episode up until, the, you know, whatever, you just, you know, you let us know. And uh, yeah. Mikey, so you, a couple of people reached out. Yeah, I have a few. This kind of this is a, a good uh, segue into uh, into this. Uh, we were just kind of talking about this. Um, and this is from Michael T. Uh, do you think Lydia would have killed Henry if Daryl didn't uh, come through at the time? That uh, that he did. Um, if not, if she didn't kill him, uh, what would she have done to kind of get out of the situation? I mean, that's a good question. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you may. <laughs> so sorry. I'm tired, man. You know, sleepy, I'm not cutting sleepy. this out. Yeah, right. I'm sleepy. I'm not cutting this out though. All right, listen, we're all get tired. Um, that is a tough question. I, yeah. I, I my initial gut reaction was like no, but she does follow her mom too though like she mm-hmm. she oh, okay fine i'll do it you know like that type of thing i don't know i honestly yeah. I don't know i i i think no and how would she get out of it i'll say no is what i mean to say but and how did she get out of it i have no idea that i mean that's yeah. i don't know i mean I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna kind of agree with you i would think that she wouldn't and maybe she'd turn the knife on alpha yeah, you know, I mean, she something like that. Would ba- would she have Beta rip her, Beta would rip her spine out like the Predator, man. I'm telling you, he'd be like, she, yeah, I can, you know, uh, it's a it's a great question. I'm thinking that she probably wouldn't uh, kill Henry, and she would probably attack Alpha. And if she did kill Alpha, like you said, Beta would, um, you know, do a scorpion on her, whatever the hell he would do. Exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Well, uh, good question. question. Uh, this is Janet. Uh, Janet K. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you think the writers um, are setting Rosita up to die? That's why we're getting the storyline. Uh, that that storyline is getting attention. The pregnancy. Um, I mentioned it earlier. I, yeah. So I'll just reiterate. I think they're setting up Gabriel to die. Okay. I think I think giving Gabriel one of them, some one of somebody. Yeah, I, th- I think I think it's Gabriel. Yeah. I think yeah. it's Gabriel. I don't think it's Rosita. Yeah. Uh, did she die in the comic? Oh man, I can't remember now. That's neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah. I, I think it's Gabriel. I think they're they're doing that whole thing and giving him this arc, and uh, you know he's in love now, and I'll take care of your baby, yeah. and blah blah blah. I think it's Gabriel. I'm gonna agree with that also. Okay. Uh, I can see. Listen, Sadiq is a doctor. I think he's way too uh, critical, uh, crucial of a character to have. All right. I mean, even though we have Enid kind of now, too, I think that uh, Sadiq's not going anywhere. And I would agree that Gabriel most likely would be the one that goes because that makes perfect. uh, It's very easy to clean up the whole mess because now you'll have the father with the mother. Right. You know what I mean? So, yes. Um, All right. Last. uh, Let's let's do one more. Let's do one more. Mm -hmm. Um, Wouldn't the Whisperers get sick from wearing those faces? So now, yeah, so I was thinking the same thing. They're, yes. But what they're doing is they're oh, trying... Oh, that's, that's Chris B. Sorry, I didn't write oh, that. Oh, Chris B. Okay, thanks, Chris B. So, uh, oh, Janet, thank you, Janet, for your question. Yes. Uh, uh, I, so what they're doing is they cut them out off, and then they, they dry them as if yeah. you were if it, like if you were tanning hide. So yeah. they dry them out. And I think, I, think anything, I think anything that's living on that thing, you know, for all intents and purposes, old bacteria and stuff, it probably dries out. Maybe they they salt it or something to preserve it. Yeah. Like they do, they're doing something to preserve these masks, you know. Because yeah. so I don't. So I think obviously no. I think I think if it was a rush job, maybe you know, like yeah. they didn't clean it out right or whatever. Well, if Lydia and uh, if Lydia didn't leave with Henry, we might have seen because obviously Beta was making one for her. Right. So we could have had like somewhat of a little bit of a timeline to to see um, how long it takes for these masks to cure or whatever, yeah. if you will. Right. I mean, I, I listen. I agree with you. It's almost like like you're drying meat, yeah. or um, do they do they 
burn it or something from the inside or anything. But then right. you say the whispers don't use fire. I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going with you that they have some kind of process, obviously. And I right. wish um, maybe we'll see it again. Maybe not necessarily with Lydia with a new mess, but maybe we'll see the kind of the timeline of how long it takes. Uh, with someone else, yeah. But um, yeah, some some good ones. I was thinking that too because it was always like, especially in the beginning of these of the of the show, Evan, make sure you don't get anything on you. When oh would, well, yeah, that you was, know, yeah, and make yeah. sure it doesn't go on your skin. And now, but don't just, forget, don't it, forget, it's evolved so much. Yeah, and don't forget, they have it all in them still too. So there's probably a, a level of immunity if it. Yeah. You know. Um, all right. Listen. Oh, one last thing I wanted to mention. The, mm. When the guy starts to challenge uh, Alpha, mm. I was lo- I thought that was uh, what's his name Jed, Jed or Jeb from the Saviors. Remember who started the rebellion last? Year? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the or the early in the beginning of the season. I yeah. thought that was him for a second. I'm like, is that him? Wait, what? No, nah, he was killed. Didn't is that one that uh, Carol burned? Remember Carol saw the rest of the whispers and she followed them when she was on the. She was on the. Um, she was with Henry, and then the guy he took a ring. No, but he he was alive. She stabbed him, but then he was alive after that. And at the end, they, remember there was that big that that standoff in the woods. I yeah. don't think he's dead. She said, no, "She and, killed all the whispers." No, 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 no. I Hold mean on. the uh, the sanctuary guys. Oh, she did. The saviors. Yeah, yeah she they, she did. They, okay. He took, he took her ring. Henry That's, says, hey, how, okay, did, how did you let that forgot. happen? Okay, you're right. And then in the middle of the night, she snuck okay. out and burned them. She killed them all. Uh, but there yeah. is a there is a group of saviors out there. Remember, what's-her-name says it to the king. And she's like, I don't know which one it is or whatever. Uh, at the last, one of the last scenes where he's like, you know, he was. Oh, I don't know. I must have missed that. As yeah, she said I there's a group of saviors out. that are rogue or something that are going out there or whatever. Anyway. Uh, you guys can tell us in the comments whether we're yeah. wrong or not. Um, so that listen, we're done. That's gonna do it. This, that's 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 a show, Mike. We've done it. <laughs> that's the show. That's right. Uh, you guys, let us know in the comments section below what you thought of the episode. Um, thank you for the guys that submitted the questions. We really appreciate that kind of stuff. It's something new that we're doing here. It's a lot of fun to get questions from you about The Walking Dead. We don't usually do that. Um, of course, check us out at Third Person Pod all over the place on Twitter, on Instagram, Third Person. You can go to. Google, type in thirdpersonpod.com, and you can go right to the YouTube site itself. Have a listen. Have a look on iTunes. We're all over the place. Third person. Yep, that's it. Yes. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate your support and watching the video and all that good stuff. Yes. Yeah, so keep all the comments coming. We love them. And until the next time, we'll see you later. Good night. <laughs>